So this is, I am about to replace the crankcase um, uh, filter, uh, crankcase vent filter. It's under this cover. So you got to take this cover off, which is held on by these four bolts. These are, what, eight millimeter bolts. And then once you take this off, it's got several bolts aligned the side about uh, one, two, three, four, about eight, twelve, eight millimeter bolts all around. And I just simply use a little small wrench to get them all off and get them all back on. And so I've got the new filter here, Cummins Tex Fleet Guard filter, and it's recommended that you um, replace this stuff every, it's recommended that you replace this stuff every 15, every um, 50 to 60,000 miles. This is how the filter looks, and this is Fleet Guard. But the part so does sell it. I think I shared in the video a while back. <laughs> I went to a part store and got one. I'm not going to name the brand. But it was knockoff, and it did not have on this side. What you see here, it's the vent. You breathe. It breathes through here. This was all closed off, and this in here it goes in here. This is an opening in there as well, but it was all closed off. And then they had a little letter inside disclaiming it, <laughs> saying if it does look, if it doesn't look like the original manufacturer, it's okay. Um, you can still use it. Um, but I beg to differ. I had already paid for it, but when I got inside of the car, I should have looked at it before I walked out of the store. When I got in the car, I saw that. I took it right back in, got my money. I'm like, oh no, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So anyway, let me put the phone down so I can get these off. And I changed mine early. You'll get a signal inside the cab. Sometimes it goes off every 67. Well, initially they had it programmed to 67, 500 miles. Um, when the trucks first came out, then they changed it to 50 to 60,000. Oh, shucks. I dropped that bolt down here. I can get it. But uh, they changed it, the interval, to 50 to 60,000 miles. And it doesn't hurt to change it early. I'm changing this at about 41,000 miles. The last one I changed it was a little over 45,000 miles. And having one of these comes in. It's an 18-inch telescoping magnet. That's what I used to stick down back there and got that bolt that drop back there i got this from harbor freight they got different sizes as well but this is really good whenever you drop bolts and stuff when you're working on something always good to keep one of these handy okay and so now that i got all the bolts out what you want to do is what did i do with my napkin i like to keep a napkin handy i'll just take this napkin right there what you want to do is i'm going to move this as well but not right now not why it's all open up even though it goes into the crankcase vent i still like to keep this closed and i have not put oil back in there yet so the bottom pan the bottom bolt is still draining but you want to move your your dipstick out of the way go ahead and wipe that off and then you just want to sit this somewhere over to the side just sit that out of the way and you can lift this up this comes up just like that and then you can also move that over there out of the way and now you're gonna loosen these bolts i cracked this housing a while back there was a bolt too tight in there and then what happened is the stud that's in this block sometimes over time if you get a lot of miles on your vehicle over time sometimes these stud when you go to tighten them in it'll just spin but you can always use um what do you call it it's like a it's in a i forgot the container but it's a small little amount red and black it's a little mixture tube you just put a little bit in there and it turns it like the cement and you put the stud back in there and it'll hold that stud and then you can get these bolts off but anyway i'm gonna loosen these bolts it's about eight bolts right four on this side and four on the other side and then once i loosen the bolt then i'll move this cover off and then you remove this top cover and you'll see the crankcase then all right i got all eight bolts out i like to keep them in order and these bolts two on this left side see how they are they got this stuff attached on these plugs so you can't miss those you got to put those like in the same spot but i just like to keep my bolts in order so i got the four from the right over there four from the left now i'm going to remove this cap wipe this off i'll just put this to the side i'll clean the oil when i put the phone down and then you see this case this cover 
All it does, it just lifts up. Now, it doesn't move all the way completely out of the way because I don't, I never unplug, like, the holes right there. I never unplug that um, coolant hose that runs, and I never unplug the plug. So, what I do is, I loosen all the bolts, which lets me lift up the cover just enough, and I can also lift out this crankcase vent filter. And I'm going to have to put the phone down and do it, but I just want to show you. For those who've never tried it before, it's so simple. You can start DIYing your own trucks. When you get these trucks and stuff like that, they cost enough money. You need to know how to do something. See, you just lift this filter up and just put the old, the new one in. Simple as that. So I'm going to put the phone down now and swipe them out. And another thing I like to do while I'm making the swipe, because sometimes you see all this dirt and stuff, I'll sometimes wipe and clean the stuff around here, but I like to put the all cap back on too, so nothing, no debris gets into the engine. So this is the old one. Sometimes you may have just a little oil that comes. See how in there that's black? Diesel all gets black anyway. But you see the fresh one, the brand new one, is it's all clean. And whenever I replace this stuff, the reason I never change it at the intervals, because sometimes the interval, the light interval inside, change it. It um, it doesn't really tell you, it doesn't really, sometimes it's not really due to be changed right when the oil is need to be changed all the time. And what I like to do so everything can be fresh, I like to change my crankcase filter um, whenever I have an oil change. And what you'll notice is, um, of course, when you get oil, fresh oil changes, you get better mileage, and you can tell when your better fuel mileage, and you can tell when your oil starts to get bad sometimes because you'll get your fuel mileage and go down sometimes, and sometimes when your crankcase filter starts to get full, even if it doesn't give that interval, even if it's not the mileage interval is still not up yet, sometimes you'll notice you start to get your your fuel mileage will start to go down sometimes as well. Um, and so I like to change everything when it's fresh. And whenever I change it with my oil change, my filter, I change that last oil, oil change. So that doesn't need to be changed. But whenever I notice I change this stuff together with the oil, it gives me even more um, higher gas mileage. And I always get good gas mileage with this truck anyway. Um, and when I change the oil, fresh oil, it gets one or two miles per gallon boost and then when I change it with the crankcase filter for a while it gets up to three sometimes to four miles per gallon boost up until everything gets starts to get flowing and cl clogged up a bit more you know so that's what I personally like to do change it out together so anyway I'm just going to throw this new filter on and start bolting everything back together everything back together it took less than 20 minutes to do that and now I'm going to tighten up the oil pan drain bolt, torque that back on. I've already got the oil filter on, and I'm just going to refill this thing with oil, and that's it. That's how you change the crankcase vent filter on the um, 6.7 Cummins.